Hi there, ever heard of an advertisement contained within a computer virus? If you have, then you have found one of the weirdest virus in computing history. Hi there, I'm Hi Voice bringing you the history of the brain virus. Before we begin, a gentle reminder to subscribe and click that bell icon. It lets me know what kind of content to produce next. The brain virus was authored by Amjad Farooq Alvi and Basit Farooq Alvi in 1986. The brothers reside in Lahore, Pakistan till this day. The virus was named after their company, Brain Limited, which was an established company at the time. The brothers, avid computer programmers, did not set out to become virus writers. They wanted to explore the security of operating systems at the time and wanted to learn more about DOS. They were a bit overzealous in the end by writing BRAIN. In a later interview, they even described the virus as a friendly, benign virus. BRAIN is considered to be among the first computer viruses targeting MS-DOS. Unlike other viruses that would appear in the years to come, Brain didn't display any message. The effect of Brain is that the floppy disk drive would noticeably slow down. This was an effective way for Brain to hide as many users would not notice the infection. If the user was savvy enough to view the boot sector in a hex editor, this message would be present. A phone number was provided with a friendly warning to beware of the virus. Kind of ironic to infect a computer then to proceed to sell a cure. Brain conveniently provided a telephone number to call in case you wanted the virus to be disinfected. The brothers were not aware of the spread of the virus until angry callers started to inundate their phone lines, demanding them to disinfect their computers. They were surprised that the virus traveled around the world. The virus spread one floppy disk at a time carried by a person to the next computer to be infected. They didn't intend for brain to cause harm and were surprised when it did so. Little did they know they were going to become pioneers in the field of MS-DOS viruses. How brain works is as follows. Brain resides in the boot sector of 360 kilobyte 5.25 inch floppy disks. The disk label would be changed to brain. The original boot sector of the disk will be copied and hidden as a bad sector. This would not be noticeable as it is quite common for a floppy disk to have a bad sector. Brain would then occupy the bad sector. Brain would register itself as the handler for interrupt 13, then proceed to infect every floppy disk inserted into the computer. Brain would not infect hard disks, only floppy disks. Applications would not be able to view brain as the registered interrupt handler would redirect floppy disk reads into the hidden location containing the original boot sector. This allowed brain to hide and propagate to hundreds of computers within a few years. Viruses those days had to spread from floppy disk to floppy disk. Slightly a bit slower than these days. Eventually, People figured out how to stop brain, developing antivirus to remove the infection from the computer. The simplest way was to run the sys command, which would rewrite the boot sector of the floppy, thus destroying brain. There was even an antivirus virus named Denzuko, developed to seek and destroy brain. It's amusing and ironic that a virus was developed to hunt and destroy another virus. Brain was easy to modify and this led to many variants. Most variants performed the same function as brain, 
but with slight modifications to the message contained within. Eventually, the outbreak of brain petered out as it ran out of hosts and was smothered by antivirus. The brothers, which authored the virus, gave up their malware careers after a single hit. Although they don't regret writing the virus, they take the view that it is a criminal act to write malicious code. They are still in business as they run a thriving software business in Pakistan. Their authorship of Brain was so intriguing, it even netted an interview with famed antivirus crusader Mikko Hippanen. I will leave a link to the interview in the description below. Have a view of the interview as it gives a good overview of the motivations of the authors. And there you have it, a short glimpse into the history of Brain, one of the first virus for MS-DOS. Did you have a floppy disk infected with Brain in the past? Let me know all about it in the comments below. As always, if you like what you see and would like to support the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice, signing out.